My brother, which Jesus Christ are you asking me to focus on? The one who is enabling a scammer to ask people to repent. The one who has allowed himself to be deceived because the scammer refuses to pay 38 people whom he owes money in the name of Jesus Christ. So are you saying, I must follow an unprincipled man because he said, Ujeso ati, Ujeso uti. How different is this scammer from the pastors who are stealing the congregants money you are paying your tithe every month then you find out Hore, your pastor has been stealing the church money all the tithes the contribution that you have been paying he has stolen money from 38 congregation members of his church how would you have handled a pastor whom is stealing money from the church you would have probably left his church and, and disowned him but no by some intervention that seems to be bigger than Christ himself, because we don't, we here we are not talking about the same Jesus. There's the Jesus of Enigma, and then there's the Jesus of Nazareth, who has said in the book of Psalms, if you borrow money and do not pay back, you are wicked. Why would the same Jesus or the same person who represents Bukaya Mudimu, which is the Bible, then approve sending someone who is owing people money, who has not even attempted to pay back that money. In fact, I found out, or apparently there were Bazalwani, Banaba Mudim, who were coming together to pay the debts of a man who, who he himself doesn't see anything wrong with owing people money. Instead, he has told people, Horiana, when he sees the people he owes, he calls upon the name Jesus, and then Jesus blocks the view of the people whom he owes money. So which Christ is this that is allowing people to deceive us? Which then means, Luana, in your church, if you find out that your pastor has been stealing the money from the church, then Luana, you must continue serving that, continue listening to that unprincipled man, because clearly, there's also an issue of principles here where we allow scammers to preach the word of God. How, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? I must allow a scammer to tell me to repent. But Kamu Mudimu doesn't want us to sin. God doesn't want us to deceive one another. But we are allowing ourselves to be led by a scammer who is telling us to deceive people by not paying them back. You must avoid negativity of someone who's promoting the non-payment of debt people that have borrowed you money in good faith, people who have actually taken out loans to borrow you money in good faith because you went there, humbled yourself, and you know you told him all sorts of stories about what, what you need money for. Maybe sometimes you couldn't even pay school fees, and now someone in good faith is borrowing you money, trusting for you, pay back that money in the time that you have promised. But no, now this money is not being paid back in the name of Jesus. Then it's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 38 people who have been scammed in the, in the name of Jesus. You can continue listening to this person. I refuse to listen to this person. I will never follow this person. And I am going to rebuke every person that wants to come here and tell me to follow the Jesus Christ of Enigma. I am telling you right now, I will not do that. And if I have to speak about this person every single day until you guys stop sending me messages, I am going to do that. Bona Mona, this is going to be my lifelong mission. If every follower of Enigma is going to be coming and promoting his name, I am going to rebuke that name in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because I am telling you now, this man is not serving the Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Salah. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and of course, do make sure that you share this video. So, with this label on TikTok goes to talk about a brother Enigma and calls him a scammer who owes over 38 people. You guys and says that Jesus Christ enabled brother Enigma to scam people. You guys, now she states that that enigma is a scammer of some note who cons people using the word of jesus rt whenever he wants people to listen to him or whatever message that he is trying to convey to them now she went on to call him unprincipled and in a very she said 
Um, he is an unprincipled man who scams people. She says he is not any different from those pastors who are stealing congregants' money. You guys, she went on to put in the mix and emphasize that Umponi Pony owes over 38 people. And he publicly stated himself and said that he doesn't see himself paying them. And he said that he went on to hiding instead of paying them. Why is Umponi um not a paying these people in the very first place? Now she calls out people and revealed that people, um, those people are for the Jesus of a brother Enigma and not for the Jesus of Nazareth. Which Christ is this that Enigma allows people that brother Enig that allows brother Enigma rather to corner people their very heart and money? You guys, the very same scammer who says God wants people to repent, but yet he fails to pay the people that he has scammed and owe money. She calls out a brother Enigma as you know, self-absorbed and as a scammer and says he should do the right thing by the people. Guys, there you have it. What are your thoughts? Please do engage it with me in the comment section. And of course, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet done so. And also make sure that you share this video so that you do not miss out whenever I try to upload a new video. Thank you so much for actually clicking and deciding on watching this video. I will definitely and surely be seeing you in the next video and may God just bless you all. Bye.